Welcome once again to Nomad's World. We're playing Minecraft today, and I wanted to let you know where we're at. Uh, we got our soul sand. We went into the portal and, and into the Nether, and we have uh, dug around a little bit, and we found a, a spot where we got some soul sand. I got forty six. There was more, but that's how much I grabbed. I uh, grabbed a little bit of Nether quartz, a uh, little little extra for later. Um, I've also done a little more uh, chopping down of trees, so we have some extra wood for later on. And uh, I did find a, a big, huge slime and killed it. Got five slime balls. We'll be making a slime farm at some point in the future. Um, one interesting thing, uh, let's take a look at the chicken farm real quick. I wanted to show you how this is doing. I stopped the uh, timer so the eggs will uh, collect. I want to put a few more chickens in there so uh, I've got it stopped for now but uh, as you can see I've got lots of feathers and I actually have a lot more chicken than this. Um, so I've got Four stacks there, plus a stack there, and I've also got four and a half, almost four and a half stacks of chicken in that spot. So uh, we're good on the chicken front. Uh, I've also got some raw chicken that I can cook up. So um, that's all good uh for now later on we'll we'll do a little more with that uh i want to go down to the portal show you an interesting little thing that happened i've never had i've i've had this happen kind of in, in the past uh i don't know what causes it uh but so here's our main portal and we go through now we're gonna eat that tunnel is gonna play a part here in a second. And let's get rid of this guy. Make sure there's no more. Okay. So that was a zombie pigman. So I came in here and uh I think it was up here somewhere. Yeah, right there. I, I dug that way just straight out until I actually found some soul sand. Then I came back here and went through the portal. And I expected to be back in my base. But I was in a totally random location. And um, I lit it up a little bit with what torches I had and ran out of torches. So I dug up to the surface. I actually came out in the swamp near my base and I ran over and uh, made some more torches and some more. Uh... Oh, hey, that's enchanted. Unbreaking and fire aspect. Nice. Um, I have no real use for the gold sword. Uh, I believe the iron sword is much better, um, although that does some pretty good. Uh, and chance on it. Um, so yeah, I, came, I uh, went back to the portal and ended up back over here again. This time I had coordinates written down for my base portal and for this portal. And utilizing those numbers, I dug down to level 13 because level 13 was is the level that my base portal is at. And then I ran over here to negative uh, 236, and that lined up in one of the XY coordinates. And then I went this way until, obviously, you can see the portal, that little purple spot. That is my base portal. So uh, I have a little more um, resources to gather at some point, uh, you know, like this here, and all back in there but um so yeah i connected the two portals and uh just 
because I have no other way of uh, getting the two of them to link. And uh, I could destroy the random one, but I think it would just replace itself if um, I went back through the portal again. So I, I don't really understand why that happened. Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so I have two portals. And um, on this side and in the nether, I have one currently. Uh, let's see. I have okay I have my gravel so what we're gonna do um, one of the things I was going to do this episode was the skeleton farm uh, I have decided I'm not going to do that just yet um, simply because I really don't need I, I need the bow but um, you know uh, actually do I have enough string yeah I do let's just make a bow And we'll put that there. And let's also make a fishing pole while we're at it. Uh, we don't really need a fishing pole because we've got unlimited chickens. But we'll go ahead and do it. And we'll put that there. All right. So um, what I decided I wanted to do, I wanted to get started on this villager front. Um, so I went up and it is getting dark out. This is why I like oak doors is because you can actually see out them and they look like a solid door. Uh, there is another door, I believe, uh, that is a little more open. Uh, doesn't look as secure. It's, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, for aesthetics, I like this door. Um, so that's the one I use. Uh, let's sleep. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a village and we're going to see, we're going to just go exploring. Um, one of the things, because we're basically on an island, I also want to make, uh, let's get this sword, get that. Um, yeah. And we'll grab some uh, planks. Okay, we're gonna make a boat to do that first you have to make a Shovel a wooden shovel now this basically acts as the paddle for the boat and then we're gonna need some more wood There we go and we get the birch boat so it takes five planks and the shovel and you get one boat and we'll put everything else back. All right, let's uh, head off. Now, I already made a spot over here. One of the easiest ways I've found, once you've done some mining and you've got yourself a stack of gravel, 64, 64 is a pretty good number because when you're in the the um the water here is basically sea level so when you're on ground like this this is your shoreline this is your water line now you can have water up higher you can have water lower you can have uh, dry land lower but 62 63 that is your um your defining line for sea level um, so what I did was I have a spot here where it is one block deep of water so that saves me a lot of trouble uh, I use if I didn't have that I would go over here and I would dig out a spot one block deep and then I would fill that with water and uh, so that I had basically one block deep of, of water uh, non-flowing, just solid, uh, all water source blocks. You can tell that they're water source blocks because even though the water's kind of glistening a little bit um, or shining, uh, it's not moving. If I was to do that, that's your moving water. And we can fix that by putting that back. So 
I came over here and I came out, I believe it was four blocks. No, yeah, four blocks to here. And I dug down one block and I put some stairs. Now this is gonna come in handy in a minute. Now on top of the stairs, we're gonna put gravel. We're gonna put one block of gravel and then on we're gonna jump up on that and we're gonna hold down the space bar so that we're jumping and we're gonna just start placing and you can right click just hold the right mouse button and it will and the space bar and it will continue jumping placing gravel and you basically got yourself an automatic elevator and we'll go up here to 64 blocks tall that should put us just below the uh, cloud line. There we go. All right. And so here's the cloud line. If you go higher, you'll be above the clouds and you, you won't be able to see through all of the clouds. So that would, the clouds would end block in your view. So I like to be just below the clouds so I can look around. So here's our base right there. And as you can see, I've cleared out quite a bit of, you know, a lot more of these trees. I've still got a few more. I want to clear out this whole section right here so that my little island is uh, cleared out. And then I'll probably start clearing out some more uh, of the trees. Um, eventually, I want to build a tree farm. But for now, uh, it doesn't bother me to just butcher this forest. Um, I'm not really going for aesthetics right now, so, um, and I'm no artist, just so you know, uh, my creations are efficient, or mostly efficient, I go, I go for it works, it doesn't need to be looking all pretty, and all that kind of stuff. Once I have gotten towards the end game, where uh, there's really nothing left to do, that's when I kind of start stockpiling a lot of stuff, and start building whatever comes to mind um so from here i've got my nearby swamp with some mushrooms so it's a mushroom uh swamp biome there's a bunch of pumpkins right there um you see this right here by my cursor just right there that i believe that looks like a witch hut we're gonna go take a look at that in a little bit um in our exploration um this looks kind of interesting it's very squared off i'm kind of curious um uh, you know i i'm not seeing any villages there might be something right there that's hidden behind that so we'll probably go over to the witch hut mark down the coordinates on that there's another swamp right over there go take a look at that there's some um I go like this right here is some ice and uh, once we get a pickaxe with silk touch we'll go mine some of that because we'll need some of that for uh, our village breeder and um, and then there's something going on on this little island here it looks like something pointy I, I can't really tell from here uh, so we'll, we'll use the boat and cruise across here take a look at that real quick just kind of bebop these a little bit oops i don't want to step off here yet um we'll go mark the uh uh ocean monument that's over here i want to get that pinpointed and uh write down the coordinates and then we'll probably head out depending on what we see out here there may be something right across there that that we can't see from here um but uh if we don't see anything we'll head over this direction and kind of beep up and come back all right so that is the plan now to get down i could use my shovel i could also just use my fist and i'm going to get the you know, i'm going to get all 64 blocks i don't want to lose any of these. uh it's not that uh, i care about gravel it's just that it's useful for making these elevators and gravel does have its purpose later on in the game when you're building so uh you know and i don't like to lose resources i like to stockpile resources so i don't like to, to lose any um 
buy, I always drop chests and fill them up. And if I have to, I come back later and I make trips back and forth from my base to the chests, wherever they are, and uh, I collect all my resources out of them. So the way down is to jump. And here's the reason for the water. I take no fall damage. All right, so it doesn't matter how high you are. If you land in one block of water, then you're going to be fine. All right. Now, to get all these blocks, since it's so tall, all we have to do, because there are stairs below this, all we have to do is gravel will fall once you break the bottom block. Now, if it was a solid block, they would just fall, come down, and it would restack. Now, some of them are going to break. So, like, if I do this. Okay, it just basically all shifted down. It didn't break any. Sometimes it breaks multiple. Uh, let's try. There we go. See, we got a few blocks that broke off. We'll grab these. Don't lose them. Okay. Now, here's the reason for the stairs. The stairs are not considered a fully solid block. So if I break that, they just all break on that. And there's my 64 blocks. All right. So that is a useful tip for exploring by just, you know, elevatoring up and uh, taking a look at what's around you. So you can, you know, go off in one direction to a spot that you saw previously and find a spot over there and do the exact same thing until you've pretty much found what you're looking for. Now, sun's going down, so I'm going to go ahead and rest, and then I'm going to head off in the direction of that witch farm, and I will be right back when we get there. Okay, so we got over here. I grabbed my bed also so that uh, in our adventuring around, we're probably going to run into some uh, nighttime, and I don't want to build a little uh, hut and wait out the night. And it is pretty dangerous at nighttime since we're on hard mode. Uh, I believe, yeah, we're on hard. So, um, but anyway, uh, so I brought the bed so that I can just sleep through the nights real quick. And uh, so there's the witch hut. Let's go a little closer. And we're not going to mess with him. Uh, or her. But we're just going to get a better view of it. So there it is. And it looks like we got another little coral area. Oh, we got some kelp over here. So we're going to have to do a kelp farm. I'll have to, let me write that down real quick. Got, we need one of those. Kelp farm. That'll be a, a good one to do early on. Uh, what else? Um, so the witch is there. It spawns inside. It is sometimes on the uh, porch. And it jumps down, wanders around. Inside, there's usually a cauldron that has, has a, a potion or something. Uh, not really concerned about what's inside there. Um, the witches, though, are, they drop glowstone, uh, some redstone, um, a couple other items, uh, potions, and uh, so this can be utilized as a spawner, and we can make a farm that automatically, uh, that we can kill witches and obtain ourselves um, Redstone and glowstone and a few other resources. So I've written that down for future. Um, got some pinkish flowers there. Swamps have blue flowers. Uh, looks like a yellow flower over there too. Um, it's always nice to know where certain colors are 
of flowers because you can utilize them for dyes on wool and whatnot and um, make a variety of different colors of stuff. Uh, there's a chicken over there. I'm not interested in those anymore. So that's sheep. I could use some more some more wool. Uh, that was one. So I need two more to make. Well, I got one at the base, so I need one more to make another bed. Um, and it needs to be white. Uh, they need to, when you make a bed, the wool has to be the same color. Oh, there's a gray one. Let's go ahead and grab him. Where'd he go? Come back here. All right, so now we got a light gray. All right, so we've hit the uh, witch farm. Now we're kind of heading in this direction. Let's zip over here. Um, sometimes I'll grab, I usually use the boat. I'm not going to use the boat right at this second. Um, but you can grab some of these lily pads. They're kind of nice to have. Oh, yeah, I wanted to. See any kind of structure? No. All right, so let's head this direction. We are looking for a village. Ooh, lots of flowers. That pink ones, white ones, red, purple, not purplish. We got ourselves a nice little collection of flowers here. Have some orange, some daisies. It'd be nice if you could build a farm that uh you know like plant a flower and it make you know and then use a uh, some kind of enchanted tool to harvest it and get like two. And then you could plant those two and then when they grow or whatever they you can get more and you could just like regular crops. All right, so this is where our funny looking man man goes. There's a black rabbit. Got ourselves a little rabbit hide. Um, later on, we're gonna need, oh, there is there any, anything hidden back here? Doesn't look like it, does it? All right. So I thought I heard something. Yeah. I keep hearing something that sounds kind of weird. That's all right. Um, normally, I'd go over and I'd plug that up and go explore these holes in the ground. But we can do that some other time. Um, maybe that'll be my time, not your time. And uh, then I can, you know, I'll record it. And if I see something, I can start the video up. Um, all right, not seeing anything over here. Lots of flowers. It's a good spot for collecting lots of flowers for dyes. But I, oh, is that a desert over there? That looks like it might be a desert right over there. but not what we're looking for at the moment. Uh, it's useful to know where that's at though for future reference. All right, we're approaching night. Let's eat something real quick. Get filled up. The one thing about chicken is it's cheap, but it doesn't fill you up. So you get hungry again pretty quick. So the saturation doesn't last very long, but that's all right. Uh, 
because it's it's cheap, easy to make. You know, obviously easy to make. Cause we're in our third episode, and we've got lots and lots of chicken already. Um, let's go down over here. What's this? A hole in the ground. Let's go up here where we get a better vantage point. Okay. Still not seeing a village. And I've played on worlds where it took me forever to find a village. And uh, I ended up, uh, eventually, I found one. And then once I found that one, I ended up finding some more. And I found one that was even closer to my base. But, um, by then I had Oh, I think I found out what that sound is that I'm hearing. It's my headphone cable dragging on my shirt. <laughs> All right. So, not seeing any kind of village. So, and I and I keep looking over it just to make sure cuz sometimes there're small villages and Sometimes the details are hidden within all the blocks. All right, so next, let's go over to the ice area. Take a look at that area. And what we're going to let's not get on the sand too much. Never know what's underneath. It collapse. Nope. Everything looks fairly safe. There's a few spots there that we went close to that were uh, just overhangs. And um, this little sand area would be nice for a turtle farm in the future. Yet another farm to Create in the at some point. Uh, turtles can be utilized for um, their shells, and when you so you farm them by uh, keeping them in an area that they really can't get out of, and uh, they you feed them kelp or seagrass. I forget which. And um, they end up breeding. So you get two of them in an area and they'll breed. And then uh, they'll look for a place to, with sand, and they'll lay eggs. And once you, once those eggs hatch, then you have a baby turtle that grows up. And then you have more turtles. Uh, so there's a dolphin right there. I thought I saw like a bear out here. Oh no, that's just some frozen ground. Okay. Ah, missed the jump. All right, so uh, we've got a couple of different kinds of ice here. Uh, I forget what uh, one's like hardened ice and one's regular ice. Um, one is, works better than the other, but, uh, this is the stuff we want right here that we're walking on. And, uh, then all you have, when you place it, you just have to keep it away from heat sources and, uh, it'll create this nice little slick thing, spot that, uh, if something hits it, it'll slide across it. Uh, oh, there's a squid. Fish. We're gonna make ourselves a fish farm or a fish uh, little fishing hole. Uh, pretty soon, might get something useful out of it. Okay, so that's useful to know. But there is a oh, there's some more over here. 
so this water will basically freeze, stay frozen. And um, if I break the ice, it should re it should come back. Um, and there's ways of making farms out of that stuff too, uh, to make more ice blocks. But I've never done one of those. I'm not going to really worry about making one of those until a later date. We'll just what we need we can get from these sources. And then later on when we're really bored and looking for some new thing to build, we'll build something like that. Um, we'll need to build a cow farm eventually for the purpose of feather or uh, leather. Okay, still looks like there's a uh, another swamp coming up. Let's go back down to the water. We're gonna go ahead and jump in our boat and follow the shoreline a little bit. And um, oh, we need to go out to oh, eat. Once you have. Once you're down to three bars, these little drumsticks down here, that's your hunger bar. Once uh, you're down to three bar, uh, drumsticks left, you can't sprint, um, which is typically what I'm always doing is sprinting. Um, yeah, still don't see village looks like there's a savanna over there might i like to collect a little bit of every kind of wood just so i have it and i can always in my tree farm i can uh get some additional wood different sources uh okay so we get our boat out we right click to place it and then get a little closer okay right click to get inside of it and then I'm hitting the uh, W key to go forward, left and right. With the A and D, I can go backwards with S. They used to have this uh, method for, for rowing, and uh, it was quite the, what's this? This looks like the uh oh my gosh it's above ground no there's a ruins here Is this the space bar to get out of your boat? Use your axe to collect your boat. Okay, now this is just a, a ruins area. It just has this little it's similar to the ocean monuments to some degree. Um, somewhere in here, there it is. We have a treasure map. Some wheat, coal. Oh. Take the sand while we're at it. And there might be more. Let's um, I think I've the most I've found 
in one uh let's get rid of that. One time of searching these ruins, I think I found three chests. And uh so you never know how many chests are in these areas and the treasure map will uh help you locate what is that polished granite interesting uh okay sun's going down let's uh sleep real quick before a mob comes out and gets us Grab our bed. We want that now. Let's lock, lose our bearing. Our base is over in that general direction. Um, and I have the coordinates written down, so I'm not going to get completely turned around. But I am looking for ocean monument. I thought I had seen at a previous time. Let's go for a swim. You can find shipwrecks out here and all this coral. I've never had this big of an area. Heck are these? Clownfish? They don't look like clownfish underneath the water. Yep, got a frown coming at us in that direction. Just keep on moving. While we're here, let's grab ourselves some uh, kelp. All we got to do is break down some of these blocks. And then they float to the top. Okay, so we've got ourselves over a stack. All right, and here is our ocean monument. And I don't want to get too close to it because uh, then we'll get hit with the debuff. So what I'm going to do I want to get an XY coordinate on this. I got a zombies coming at me. So we're going on the third coordinate, and that is about 118. So moving away from the zombies, I'll write this down 118. Make sure we're not hitting another one on our backside. It looks like there's another structure thing over there. And this is uh, 3272. All right, so now we'll move away from that. Let's go take a look at this one over here. Um, let's put our boat. The boat's faster. And what do we got down there?
Okay, so we got some ruins down here. So take a look at this one over here. Straight forward while I'm looking around to the left and right. Anywhere that you see lights down there, see, okay, now there's a, there's, that's usually a ruins area, this black spot right over here, looks like a, there's a ravine down there, there's a shipwreck right there, some interesting little ravines when it caught in the uh, bubbles. Where's our boat? Okay. I think that structure thing was over here. Yeah. Something about the ravines. I don't remember what the deal is with those, but I think it's uh they have something to do with shipwrecks. Lots of sand over there for harvesting. And I still don't see a village. That's kind of disheartening. I would really love to have a village nearby. Um, what I've done in the past is found a village, made a portal, and then utilized the nether. Because every block you travel in the nether is like traveling a gate in the real world. So you can utilize that as kind of a, as a, a place to travel faster. This is interesting. Interesting uh, little formations. If it's close enough, but still a little bit further away, then I care to run back and forth or for boating or anything. What I can do is I can. Uh, get it set up and get an iron farm going and I can make a rail system. Um, I tend to make some pretty long ones uh, with a central hub somewhere and uh, that way all the places that are of interest I can just go on a uh, mine cart and get from one to the next. Still not seeing anything resembling a village. I don't want to pause the video while I search around because then you might miss something that happens kind of spontaneous. We've, it's not completely fruitless because we've gotten some information, we've gotten the location of um a uh, ocean monument uh a witch hut and uh we know where the ice is we know where a bunch of flowers are we're just falling short we know where some a bunch of sand is um we're just falling short on the Village front. What's that? We should start heading back towards our base. Come on, boat. 
come back to the surface. Looks like there might be a little swamp over there. It's getting dark again. Let's uh, sleep real quick. All right, grab our bed. We'll lose it. And I have left beds behind before and had to go searching for them. There's a couple more sheep with white wool. Grab them. Having a spare bed would be nice. Because the one I've got is the one from our base. And I'd like to leave that where it's at. Eventually, we'll have ourselves a sheep farm also and be able to put some iron down there, mushroom. Should have brought my gravel and a couple of stairs. That's all right. Um, let's do this. We are at 472. Okay, so that's this direction. And we need to go back to 3438. 3438. So just over a thousand. And going down that direction, we need to go to negative 188. So we need to head in that direction quite a ways. Um, Let's just do it. I'm not going to go back the way I came because that you already know what we've seen. So we'll take a look on the way back it's in all this area. And maybe we'll get lucky and hit, hit a village or something else that I haven't thought of. I have in the past, uh, just from running from one point to another, I've oh, fell too far. I have uh, there's some more white coal to collect. Got some dark oak. Oh. Let's see if we can get. If you look at an Enderman, it'll get angry and it'll want to attack you. But it is three blocks tall. So it can't get in here. All right, we got ourselves an Ender Pearl. That'll come in handy later on. All right, let's continue heading home. Oh, there's a creeper. I want nothing to do with you, buddy. Got about a thousand to go one direction. And that way. I don't like going through forests because you can't see what you're looking for. Go around this way. There's probably nothing in there that I'm really interested in. 
Um, sometimes it's helpful to go up high, but then you have to come back down eventually, and that can be an issue. Sometimes these streams are nice little ways of getting around because you can just quickly swim through an area. They, uh, the swimming speed used to be a lot slower, so now it's not such a big deal, except for all the drowned, which I heard one back there. Okay, we're in a birch tree biome, a little birch forest. Um, obviously purple flowers, let's eat. All right. Normally I just kill all the cows that I come across, but I'm not going to do that. Eventually we'll get there. We'll get to our farms. The more you explore, the more you sometimes you find lots of caves, other times you find nothing. If you're looking for a cave just for some quick resource gathering, um, because you don't want to uh, cut through a bunch of rock and everything, so you just you go caving and uh, just nice little grotto or a uh, cove. And I think it's getting close because this, you know, that dark spot I had seen more or uh, in this direction from our base. Okay, so now this is why you, I don't like to get too high sometimes because now it's a, it's a problem. Um, if there was a way to jump down into the water, it wouldn't be an issue. Um... Yeah, let's go down that direction. There we go. And sprint to uh, speed up our swimming. We don't want to get swarmed by all the drowned. I'm not too impressed with the uh I hear a spider down inside that down here. Now it'd be nice to know if it was a spider uh dungeon. back along the shoreline, our shoreline, so let's go distraction. And we are almost getting close. We've got about 500 blocks to go in that direction. So i got a little bit to go this way. Must be our base is over here. That is probably our swamp. I'm hearing a lot of drowned zombies. Um, one of the things that they created in the aquatic update was the drowned uh, or the drowned zombies. Um, they, they created a bunch of different things, but the zombies themselves, when they get in the water, 
and they basically kind of like die. They turn into drowned zombies. And um, drowned zombies won't come out of the water usually, uh, but they're safe from the sun. What this creates is a issue, though, because um, you'll get a little pool of water in the middle of the land, land mass, and um, a bunch of drowned will kind of hang out in there, and it takes away from the uh, mob cap, and all of a sudden you have uh, no nothing else spawning in the area that you're looking for, you know, like creepers or or uh, other zombies or skeletons or spiders or anything like that, and uh, that just creates an issue. Um, I'm gonna go this is where I came out from my uh, portal dig. And there's my coral. This is where I had discovered my unusual location. Um, so I'll use this to go back to the base since it's getting dark. So yeah, um, no, no village so far. So I'm going to uh, keep looking. And uh, I think in our next episode, we're going to uh, probably get a little, maybe either the kelp farm or the uh, tree farm. We'll get get those started. Uh, unfortunately, uh, because this is bedrock and not Java, I don't think we can get an... Uh, I've never been successful at making a automated tree farm, uh, but basically I just wall off big area and I plant a bunch of trees and I utilize that area as a safe zone for harvesting trees and I just part, take the wood and break down the leaves and get the saplings replant the saplings and then uh, when they've grown up I you know uh, you can quite often if you have enough of them I usually do a about mm, 10 by 10 so about a hundred trees some you can get away with a lot less um, I think I've done as few as maybe seven by seven so 40 you know almost 50 trees in a tree farm and basically you go through and as you're harvesting some of them will regrow before you even have finished harvesting all the wood and uh, I don't even at that point, I'm not even um, collecting the saplings. I'm just, or I'm, I'm still collecting saplings that drop on the ground, but I'm not going after the leaves to try and clear the whole tree farm. I just go after the the wood itself, and I collect as many saplings as I can. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and. Uh, it, it's not too bad of a, you know, we, we found ourselves a treasure map that we can make use of, a little bit of clay. Uh, we got ourselves some more wool. Um, I've got one in the, in the chest, in the miscellaneous chest, so that means we can make two additional beds. Uh, i got a little bit of wood that really isn't uh, important, but the kelp. Uh, we got an ender pearl. We'll need a few more of those. Um, got a few more of those. Uh, coal and got a little bit of wheat so we're gonna call this one this video done and uh, hope to see you next time please be sure to like subscribe and share give me any comments what would you like to see in this um, I especially like to try and find ways to make things work that don't work just for, uh, in Java or something that works in Java one way, but nobody's been able to figure out how to do in the Bedrock uh, Better Together version. Um, I like to try and figure that out. Uh, the only two things that I know of that don't work quite right are the automated fish farm, the AFK fish farm, 
Um, I've only seen one video that somebody did, and I was not able to duplicate his results. Um, another one was the tree automated tree farm using um, bone meal to automatically grow to quickly grow the trees, and uh, it use, utilizes a uh, not pulleys. Um, I can't even think of what they call it right now. Um, pistons. Uh, it uses pistons to push the wood out of the way, and then once the wood's out of the way, it plants another tree and grows uh, another 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 uh, tree. So uh, as to make a great big giant block of of uh, wood that you can go through with an axe that has uh, a chance of an uh, inf efficiency and whatnot that make it really fast to chop through wood and, and collect lots of wood really fast. Um, I th think that's going to do it. I, uh, I really am looking for that village, and so I'll do some more looking on my own time and see if I can't explore out a little further and uh, see what I can find. So until next time, thank you for watching, and please be sure to uh, watch my other videos on Seven Days to Die. And also another shout out to Radio Man 3 uh, Your videos are awesome. I love listening to your videos. I can't wait to hear your watch and listen to your next video on Seven Days to Die and on Rising World. So catch you next time. Thank you.